here with Joe Gillia of Elmcrest. And Joe, what can you say about Elmcrest Children's Center and, and this event, the Legends and Stars, what it means for what you're trying to do? Um, well, you know, Elmcrest uh, is, is an agency that's been around for 165, 66 years here in Syracuse, and we serve kids and families, not in our community, but in central New York. And um, this, uh, this is a kind of a nice marriage between our organization and, and Syracuse University, which has also been around for 150 years. And uh, I think it exemplifies our commitment to the kids and the families of Central New York. And basically, the, the, the revenue that we generate today helps with us provide for uh, services to those kids and those families, to help them overcome the barriers in their lives that are uh, preventing them from being as successful as they can be in the community. So. There's a lot of different things that you do, and I know that one of the hopes is making sure that the kids get to go home to their families, if that's uh, you know going to be a productive place for them to be. We have uh, we have a hundred kids in residence, and obviously the goal is to try to reunite them as quick as we possibly can with their families. It requires a lot of work on both sides of, the, of that equation, working with the kids, working with the families, so that when the kids are ready to go home, that the family is prepared to receive that child. And, uh, and together they can, as I said before, overcome those barriers. But that's, a, that's a very important part of what we do. When you look at what Syracuse has been able to do with Elmcrest and, and bond together in this respect, and to have the coaches and the players come out and to see some of the things that you raffle off. I mean, this this really is an event that is going to help you out and, and has helped you substantially, yeah. I would say. I know from Syracuse's standpoint, they, they, would, they would call this the Syracuse Legends and Stars it's, that has been organized by the coaches' wives. At Elmcrest, on the other hand, we, we think this is organized by Elmcrest and it's organized by uh, the, uh, the committee of women and their coaching husbands. So uh, uh, the, the, the ladies, who are, most of them are on our board, and uh, they do a great job, not just with this event, but all year long. They're working for kids and families at Elmcrest. And we're very, very uh, proud of that association, both with them, with their husbands, and with Syracuse University as well. From some of the coaches that have been here for a while to some of the new coaches like a Scott Schaefer, what have they meant to you, and, and how are their personalities kind of right along with what you want to do for Elmcrest and what you're trying to well, accomplish? For, well, for one thing, you know, if you've been involved with the coaches at all, you know that um, it's as much about teaching and as much about interacting with young men and young women as it is about wins and losses. And, and certainly that, that fits nicely with it, with. Uh, philosophy of Elmcrest Children's Center, that's what we're all about. So uh, it's, it's, it's a good blend of, of, uh, of tradition and, and in philosophy as well. So it's a, it's a great opportunity for both of us to come together and, and uh, share what we do with the community. Appreciate it.